The marketing agency offer is dead. And in this video, I'm going to give you proof plus show you how to avoid it. In 1997, that is when SEO was created, meaning the first SEO agency was created around that time, maybe in the 2000s. So why am I telling you this? I'm going to give you the good reason. All right. Facebook ads was created in 2007. Right after that, came Facebook ad agencies. Then in 2020, YouTube Shorts was created. And then right after that, YouTube marketing agencies sprouted out. Lastly, we have TikTok agencies. They were created around 2020. And we have this company right here that derived from that. So I am not bashing marketing agencies. As you can see right here, I have my own agency. But if you look at the offers, you'll notice something unique, something different. So I do not want you to get caught up in uh, competition. So what do I mean by that? We're going to go and get the definition of competition. All right. So this is the one that we want. The act or process of trying to get or win something such as a prize or higher level of success. Now, this is the part that we want that someone else is also trying to get or win. OK, so we don't want that because that requires you to be the best. I dropped a book and it's on my site. It's called uh, Only Versus Best. If you're the best, you always have number two, number three, somebody aiming for you. What if they have bigger budgets? You have all these variables and everything that makes it to where you have to constantly compete. So when you are constantly going and you're offering marketing, it's other people that are offering marketing marketing as well, guys. So you are fighting an uphill battle. So what do you do? I'm not just going to give you the issues. I'm going to give you solutions. So we come right here, positioning. All right. So what's the definition of positioning? I want you guys to do this. Make sure you stay because if you have an agency, guys, this is going to help you break the six figures mark easily. All right. So a positioning strategy is a strategic marketing plan that helps determine where your business stands in the market and how it should be positioned to attract more customers. Watch this. Watch this. It is a marketing strategy focused on distinguishing a brand from its competitors. Now, if you are offering marketing, let's be honest, if you're marketing and you're offering YouTube ads, YouTube short, short form content. If you're offering SEO, uh, if you're offering, uh, um, you know, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, are you distinguished from your competitors? No, you are not. You have to create something completely new and different. That way you'll be positioned as unique from your competitors. That way you barely or don't even have any competitors. So what do I mean? Boom. Unique selling proposition. I guess you guys didn't know you were going to get this. All right. So what is a unique selling proposition? Also called a unique selling proposition is the essence of what makes your product or service better than competitors. But what we want to focus on right here is not trying to be better. We want to highlight this part right here, unique. Difference is better than better. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys heard that before. But if you are running TikTok ads, it's very difficult to be different from your competitors. So now you're going to have to focus on trying to be better than competitors. All right. So then you have to have uh, all this, you know, these testimonials and all this craziness to prove that you're best at YouTube ads or with SEO and all of that stuff. And, and then, guys, guess what? Another problem that you're going to have is pricing. All right. Competition with pricing. You hear people tell you, OK, competitive pricing. Let's get the competitive uh, pricing definition. Watch this. OK, competitive pricing is a marketing strategy whereby businesses set prices based on their competitors prices. This means you already lose because guess what? If, if, if you are not the top dog and you don't stay the top dog, even if you are the top dog, though, uh, if they come to your website or your opt in form and they see that you are charging more and they can go and get the same thing, keyword, same thing from somebody else for cheaper guys. I'm pretty sure you're guilty of this. You won't get Netflix. You'll go to get Hulu or you'll get Disney Plus because one of them is cheaper than the other. And you'll be like, you know what? 
They pretty much say the same thing. That's how your clients, potential clients or partners are thinking too when they look at your prices because they can find them. They can find your same agency offers on other people's sites on Google for cheap. If you search, watch this, because we usually charge like $5,000 for SEO, right? Just starting. But guess what? If you type in SEO services, watch this, watch this. You have people that are willing to do it uh, for cheap. So we're going to look Look at this. $497 a month, $500. Look at this. This dude talking about, or you can do it for $75 an hour, $400 to $900, right? Then you have the top dogs. They're, they're still charging that much, but that's because they've been around since Christ was walking on earth. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? But if you're a new guy and you're getting in there to build up your name and all that, look at this, $1,000 a month and all of that, you're going to have to like be lowballed because they can go so many places. They can go on Fiverr. This is why I was telling you guys, oh, you're trying to sell AI automation uh, services. I said, use that stuff as the bait. Use that as the hook to get them, you know what I'm saying? Like, like use that as the bait. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even charge for that because everybody else is trying to charge for that. The things that other people are trying to charge for, use those services as the bait and then sell them things that other people aren't offering. So what do I mean? We're going to come back over to my agency real quick. And I'll just give you a few examples. Don't steal my stuff, man. Majority of my stuff is productized. Okay. So, uh, you know, because we want freedom. We don't want to be stuck doing services all the time. So we have this book right here that is about to be uh, bumped back up to around 497 but then we also have the affiliate army course okay the affiliate army what is this this is where they never have to pay for ads or marketing again why because we build them an army of 250 tr uh, trained affiliates that use their own money network skills and time to grow their sales for the companies so this is something completely unique most people don't know how to do this never even thought to do this or anything like that so they can't literally go on google and say you know what let me see if someone else can um, build me an affiliate on me because i don't want to pay 14,997 you're not going to be able to find it let's go over here and type in uh, affiliate army <laughs> cost. Okay, like okay, products create an affiliate army. Five thousand BC. I don't know what the heck that is, but that's not the same thing. All right, then we got affiliate marketing software. This is where you can like manage affiliates and stuff like that. But this is no no service or nobody trying to build the affiliate army uh, for them or anything like that, right? So that's why we have this right here, the affiliate army course, which is only 5K. So compared to 15K, like even both of them, both of them are a deal. Right. And this is not me trying to sell anything to you guys watching. Most of y'all can't afford this. I'm just showing you how unique things are. That way um, you'll know. Don't take minds, but take like, you know, notes on how I want it to be unique, where if you came to my site, do you see anything talking about TikTok, SEO, Facebook ads or any of that? Nope. Exactly. All right. Then we have uh, where we'll build their bank for them. OK. And this is 17K, soon to be 25K right there. All right. I can't go too much into that. But then we have it to where we can be flown out. All right. Flown out, fly, fly us out to build a monopoly. What is a monopoly? OK. We'll get a uh, monopoly definition. All right. Watch this. The exclusive possession or control of the supply of or trade in a commodity or service. OK, we're not talking about the board game, but kind of. <laughs> OK, so exactly. Watch this. So let's say that we wanted them to be the go to Mexican restaurant in Chicago. We would make it to where it's a monopoly where no one else would get any Mexican uh, customer, Mexican dish customers. Right. You understand? They will be known for the tacos, the nachos, the burritos, the the enchiladas, the all of that stuff. They you won't even hear about Taco Bell anymore. So that is a monopoly, whereas a complete.
complete domination of a specific niche product or service. And no one else offers that because no one else knows how to do what we do. All right. So it says we'll fly you out to build your market monopoly that literally takes your highest month of profits and 1000 X that in 97 days guaranteed or less. OK, so this is why we can charge so much. Then we break down like how unique what we do is. Right. So do you guys see me offering YouTube ads? No. Like, will we use YouTube ads? Maybe in, in some of the stuff, but they don't care how you get the results. They just care about the results. OK, then you're not going to see us talking about TikTok. All right. So uh, YouTube shorts, you're not going to hear us talking about Facebook ads, even though we might use Facebook ads for, to get some of the results. You're not going to hear us talking about SEO, even though we're definitely going to be using SEO for some of the positioning for them. So I, I pray that you guys learn something. All right. For your agency today. I hope that you guys didn't dip out due to like short attention span bull crap like some children uh, because you if you have an agency right now and you're watching this, please like don't even send anybody messages about the SEO, the TikTok ads, the YouTube ads. Don't none of that unless they ask you about that. If they ask you about that and in, in, uh, specifically, then cool. But you always want to be results driven. You understand what I'm saying? Money based. You know, like when you're talking to them, talk money, talk slick, talk as if you're talking to a gold digger and, and you don't mind her being a gold digger. You're just trying to get what you're trying to get out of her. You're going to talk money. You ain't going to talk relationship stuff, right? Okay, talk money to them because that's what they really care about. Don't get in there talking about how the weather in Chicago or Atlanta, none of that bull crap. If they come to you and they ask for something specifically, that's fine. Okay, now you can talk. If they come to you and they say, yo, how much you charge for YouTube ads? You still want to drive it. Uh, uh, more towards like results. So I will reply back with with a um with a question. Well, uh, let me see. Uh, what do you respect as far as a return? I mean, not respect. What do you expect as far as a return? Like, how much are you trying to make in profit? Because then you'll know, like, you know, how much to charge them for the YouTube ads. But when you start asking them about the profit, you'll be able to diagnose what their actual problems are. They might just got uh, uh, might have just gotten excited or saw some video, but they might not even need YouTube ads. Right. So once you start talking about the profit, the money, the ROIs and all of that, then you'll be able to introduce them to your unique stuff. You can let them know, yo, <laughs> if you just do YouTube ads, let me show you how many other uh, companies in your area are doing YouTube ads. And you can use that using marketing spy tools, right? I'm like, damn, everybody's doing YouTube ads here. Exactly. But if we do this right here, and you, that's where you introduce something completely new, something brand new that they've never heard of before, uh, that will guarantee the results that they uh, that you want them to get or that they want to get, right? So that's what I want you guys to do. Like, stop giving typical marketing agency offers. So this was not clickbait. The marketing agency offer is dead because think about it. How many times have you had to pivot your agency? All right. Right now it's popular where it took people are talking about growth partners and all of that. That'll be around for a while because that's the closest thing to what you're supposed to be doing anyway. But like SEO, SEO is still working. The art of SEO is still working. But if you message people and prospect the people about SEO, unless they reached out to you, um, they already heard that offer before. A lot of them been burnt, paid money and never ranked and all of that extra stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like you... You're constantly going to be on a hamster wheel trying to uh, figure out a, a, a different offer or, or, or uh, pivot your agency to the next marketing agency offer. Quit offering marketing, even though you have a marketing agency. Don't offer marketing, offer results. OK, and package the results in something exciting. <laughs> All right. They, it, it doesn't matter if you don't have any testimonials because it's not like they can go and compare uh, 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 your service to somebody else with testimonials. They're like, you know what? This other guy got more testimonials than you. So I'm going to go with them. But if it's a new offer, I mean, they can't really compare it to anything. Right. So, guys, 
Plus, I have a video coming up showing you how to get testimonials, even if you're brand new, without doing uh, free work up front or anything like that. So if you're not subbed to the channel, do a Jet Li sidekick to the subscription and do a, an unbox high knee kick Tony Jow style to the share button. All right. Love you guys.